Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhang Yan Let's Play as we continue for episode 13 from turn 71 in the spring season of 214. So, looking at the map here, we need to chase out this final army. Well, actually, maybe not final, but the new army invading us. And aside from that, the tough fight around T-Path has at least taken out one of their forces. We have to turn around. We can't really go for... Hmm. Or can we? It's a one-turn movement that we can quickly snatch this. And potentially snatch this too. It'll be a new war declaration. And we just basically have to hope that they can defend by themselves because the sea path can help hold them. No siege weapons on either army. We just need to be outside of the reinforcement range. We'll heal in two turns. Alright, you have my blessing. We'll defend ourselves. Quickly take this. It's level 3, so perfect tier. Pop out, pop back. Nope, can't do that. Not enough supplies. Or not enough loot. Okay, so what we're gonna do is spend the money on a quick mustering ground. And that's gonna get us closer. We can take that and then rest the turn as well. It's a relatively easy take. They should be fine. Alright, we definitely want them to be part of this. I think we would want Zhang Yan to lead the attack because of the capture rate. We got the ambush, they're not running away. If we could delegate this, we probably will. Just to save a bit of time. It's gonna be a poison volley fiesta. I think we still want Zhaoyan to do the attack to get us the best capture right here. We get the decisive 40%, 20%, 44%. Here we take the loot. We're strong enough to defend, but I'm thinking we actually recall two of the girls. That way they come back fully healed, and she'll just play catch up. One army has to remain behind. Haven't decided which one. Uh, we're going for research right here. They hit 50. I don't need to change it for them. Alright, so that's all taken care of. We don't have any turncoats. We have a bunch of points here, but we have one character who we want, but we can't have. So I think what we'll do is just do a massive extraction. First, we'll convert most of his points. I mean, we've been poisoning the army as much as we can. She can stay and do that because it's her army. I kind of want the faction leader back for her item. So we're also going to gift over some points. And then just leave... Who's the faction leader now? Oh, they generated Mami D. Okay, who's supposed to be dead already. He got killed. 
after the ordeal of getting captured by Yuan Shu. A long time ago. Ah, uh, do we still poison the? I guess we can still poison the army. I'm just curious to see how many poisons it might take for us to sort of destroy it. We should also cut off replenishment by 10% for five turns. It's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. They can't heal. Take your opportunity, cross the river, take your land. I can take yours then. He's feeling the divorce right now. The level up, it's what's getting him. We could drop it. Tax income's not a big deal. Or we could easily just give him a... Item would do it, actually. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Alright, not much we can do. Let's do all the buildings. We'll get at least one black market for the banditry income. Faction support is the issue. Rebellion forms here. They should be back in time to deal with it. I don't think we have to worry too much. Banditry and food. Right, in these settings, there's like not a great choice. Can we tax you it? No. One more turn, one more turn. We get some reserve back. Right, we'll be fine. Let us continue. They can initiate siege right away. Was not expecting that. I think this is a faction council event. That complicates matters, because now she can heal. We're going to have to pull that army back. Ah, he wants to... No. 
appreciate him asking. But we're not losing a character to him. Get the girls back. They're thinking about crossing here again. We can declare war. We are mostly healed, but with them controlling the past now, do we dare to... Do we dare to... Wait, we can attack Lady B and we can use the attack command to bypass the zone of control. Trigger the fight on them, at least wipe them out, and then they would have to sally out and fight us. We'll be on the other side. We should be able to move across, back to Hedong. That's the hope. This will be a war declaration as well. They have allies. Maybe we don't deal with them right now, given the situation down here. We could rush back, but I kind of want to just get the land and be done with it. There's crossings that's concerning. He could continue to pour troops over. Maybe it's not the best timing. It takes a few turns. This is not really traversable here. It's three turns regardless. We would have a little bit of supply, but I guess it would cause some problems. We can change it next turn. I feel like we go for it. It's risky because they will definitely fight us. We night battle. We isolate them. Uh, I don't know if we should fight this. We should delegate this. We should fight this. It's a very forest heavy map. Yeah, we can pull these back with guerrilla deployment. Use the siege weapon mainly to basically take them out. Got to reduce casualties. I think we can use a siege command to reposition ourselves farther away from the actual pass or we could hold the siege if we didn't take much casualties and make them sally out, restrict the... Uh, but they will definitely sally and we have to retreat. We can't fight that sally fight. They're too healthy. I mean, there's definitely a few things we could have done, given that our Poison Volley was originally on the bench. We could have done the movement trick, got them into the fight. Wait, are they on... they are higher ground. Doesn't matter. But do we really want to give them that extra space? I could Gorilla Deploy behind them. I don't think it's a bad idea, actually. We can use the high ground here. And we can be a threat from behind. We can kind of hide ourselves first.
Ah, uh, he can use his bow to try to shoot us. It's fine. We're gonna just ride out of here. We're definitely dragging them over here. Nope, nope, nope. I don't care if he doesn't have good weapons anymore. Does he, by the way? Oh, he's fully loaded. They saw us, they'll come over. I'll try to snipe him. Lady Band doesn't have any relationship. They are... Ooh. Should I just kill him, give him the heal boost? Or let him get killed and then she gets the boost? Tough call. That last bit of... Uh... Forest, we want to see them. So that we can get our shots out early. Some beautiful flaming shots. We can also send them over to do abilities. Ah, that ability timed out. Used it a little bit early. The troops are somewhere here. Too far. Nice. That's that's actually good enough. We're fine. They can't reach us now. There's a fire in the forest behind you, and there's a very big hill to climb in front of you. I don't think range block chance is gonna help you. We have to put our generals closer so we have the camera here. back. Oh my god, they're just going for Lady Bian. <laughs> Archers, Lady Bian's getting close enough into range, I think. That is some density. Oh 
Oh, he got the heal. We're gonna have to go shoot him in the face again. I think that timing is okay. Give him some time to get close enough to get the couple shots in the end here. Nope, not very good. He can still go down to army loss, and our cavalry can charge him. If it comes down to that. I don't think it's going to come down to that. I think he's done. Army loss going to kick in. I think this was Lady Du. Is this a Qingzhou unit? Yep. That way for misplaced devotion timeout. Alright, that was clean. That's what we wanted. Basically, don't give them anything. Okay, I don't really need the weapon. We can release and get the money. Also, maybe fondness. Uh, we have a lot of loot. We have a lot of income. Guess 1%. She went to the other side. Hmm. She has shot cav under her. So none of these bonuses, I mean, this one might help, but that's about it. All right, we're gonna use the siege. We're gonna break the siege to get some movement away from it. And now we're back in Hledong. Let's see how far we can go. Oh, we're, we're at least outside of the passes. Reinforcement range, not that that reinforcement is scary, but this is fine. I wonder if they should come back and just take care of them. Because now they're closer to them, especially if we retreat away from this main army once. We let them cross, and then we hit them. Gong Sun Du made its way. He's coming back north for revenge. Uh, he has so many good things. They can probably march. Alright, now we just have a little bit more money than we know what to do with. Our spies came home. Time to take a look at their items. Should we go tall just to get this finished? I think we can. We have 44 food. It, it doesn't hurt. This is our capital. I would like to move it now. It costs 15k, so let me find a home for it. We can move it back to our original location. It doesn't really benefit us. There is no particular location bonus for where this needs to be. I think the version that we'll go for is probably the increased post-battle loot, available armies, and looting. We don't really need two more spies. Four is plenty. Two more underlings. The increased diplomatic relationship with Han is a little bit tempting. Underling position is also tempting because it does help with corruption. It's one of these. It doesn't matter where we build this thing. But I guess for staying true to our Black Mountain 
origins, we we can go here. That does make us slightly poor, but uh, it's okay. We can make it back. All right. So I think we're good. This is a little difficult, but I think we'll come out all right. And reserve our coming back next turn. So we can turn it back on next turn. Where's the other notification? I see two. Oh, there's two here for the... Okay, that's fine. Armies have moved. Spies came back. Right, we gotta deal with spies. She stayed. He's still so happy. They have two armies now. She has no items. I She's a Grant Ex Excellency. Good for her. I'll let her stay. It's not a big deal. Alright, so at least he had something. Disloyal, stubborn. It's called a bandit, but he has a Han skill tree. I think we are firing him. Talented warness. I think we're also firing her. We don't need the money, so just the standard goodbye. We could use uh, we can use him to get ourselves a, a wife character. But we would need 4,000, so we can hold him for a turn and then fire him after he generates a wife character for us. Sounds fair. Wait, we should also divorce him. Once we have the money. All right, we're good. They want peace for a lot of money, but we are still in the contract and we are man of our words. We'll serve out our contract. So what does he do? Does he fight? Defends, he fights here. This is our retreat. I don't know if he will chase. Okay, he does. I mean, this is the fight we have to take. It's a difficult one, given our army composition. But I think it's doable. What is the map like? There's enough open space to use our tribuches. We can put all the way back. We can harass with our cavalry and ultimately try to win this with our general. They have great weapons on their generals. I mean, he's going to be difficult to take down. The good news is they only have four cavalry units. And their infantry isn't all elite. Only three units of Protector of Heaven, which we have to save abilities for. Or if our tribuchet does its job. Oh, it's raining. Hmm. Doesn't impact us that much. Like, certainly fire would be nice, but out in the open field, the rocks actually do more. It's just, if they walk in the forest, the fire would be nice. We actually have towers. Wow. That will help. These might end up hurting our own units, but we're going to put one there. Put one in the open. The idea here would be to keep them together. 
probably keep him with this. Keep this group in front. And then this group can ambush kind of on the side and just harass as they approach. I, I don't think we want to duel him. Actually, I think I do. 40 attack rate is the only... Okay, we can kill him using other methods. We can try to snipe him. First, he has to stop moving. No, 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 don't shoot yet. We'll try to find a great shot. Cavalry is going to come. They're moving really fast. The cavalrys are charging. We're going, we're going, we're going. Run towards our trap. We're gonna hide. This angle is good. We can keep it. Oh, stop. Hold this for the infantry. Alright, quickly wipe that out. One less cavalry to deal with. We can wait. It's not time yet. I'm gonna come back and uh, snipe him. Got about a hundred kills. This, this, this clumping is good. Good. They are feeding us their cavalry one at a time. All four of them are here. We have six. We can take this fight. Oh, we're running into things. Can we use it? Okay. Get out. I feel like I might be able to take him. His evasion's much lower than mine. We're sacrificing a little bit too much, but we're going to go for it. He has stifling to lose, right? Okay, so we can't shoot his shoot the ability near him. All right, you five get him. He can't leave, so just stay on him. I'll try to try to herd these units over. Our right, infantry starting to get into range. Start shooting. There's some friendly fire there, too. I kind of want to save the shots just for the spear units, because the archer units, eventually we can all get. And there's there's a lot of friendly fire going on right now. Oh, he killed her. It's okay. Calculated risk. See if we can peel them out, and she needs to get out before she overcharges and loses her horse. Can you snap out of it? There we go. Thank you. All 
All right, I mean, at the end of the day, we got rid of their cavalry units for relatively little. Sure, we didn't have to duel, but we might have been to get him. Given his lack of melee evasion compared to us, but his, his attack speed sort of carried it. This is worth a shot. Uh, might have to cancel. Nope, they stop. They stop. And we stop too. Stop. We're wasting a lot of shots on just Defender of Earth. It's not worth it. The tower is getting him good. I can get a free charge here and take it. And then just go after these. Oh, we're not micro our cavalry. That is bad. That is really bad. We just gotta peel these guys away from the spear. Uh, can't really use that. I'm gonna kill him with this. He's dead. These two are going to be too slow to interfere with our cavalry charging. We used up our siege weapons on a lot of bad targets. That's fine. These are technically bad targets, too. Shoot the archers, no free damage. Or actually, shoot shoot these, shoot these. Archers, we will we'll send something else to kill. You, you can help. Right, I'm gonna run through this guy, it's taking too long to kill. I need to see if there's any spear units. There's not. Charge. We're gonna make them make them brace for this charge so they don't actually keep walking up to stop this guy from killing him. Right, we'll give the charge order on them so they can peel back. All right, we don't actually want to charge that. All right, at least we're on their crossbow units. There's another ranged guy. All right, we have to peel from this guy quickly. Can we charge through this guy? Ah, uh, come on, it's just crossbowmen, charge through them. Very bad. They keep getting pulled back. The tower is going to help. They should bounce back after this route, hopefully. 
We're gonna send them away first. No, no shooting at us. No shooting at us. Let us bounce back. No, you guys, you guys all go to the back. They keep getting pulled back to the fight. It's like a few units stuck in there, so the rest of them's not moving forward. Have to just give them some new commands. Hopefully they can listen and peel. And we can still keep a couple guys around. Alright, he's chasing him. Let's take him on a wild ride. Okay, got the kill there. Run this way. See, they still have a couple horses here, which is making that entire group try to run back, which is not what we want. We know they're here. We just can't really punish that with so many spear units around. Ooh. Is it worth shooting just one unit of spear? Should we unite their group? They have a cavalry unit here. All right, we're gonna send everyone towards that. If we can run their generals down real quick, chase that guy away. Perfect. She's she's low enough. We don't have to keep chasing. You guys are in a nice little formation. I think I'm taking this shot. There's no friendship. Let's just kill her. How long can I keep them from... Alright. While they're down, maybe we do do a charge. Oh, there's not really down. 114 of them still around. All right, the cavalry's gone. I think we have a shot against these heavy crossbowmen and the G militia. I think we can kill. She's not bouncing back. Okay, we're gonna get both of these, and then they have two left with the general. Three left with the general. Four left with the general. I'm gonna peel the cavalry units away towards our tower. We're gonna keep the two generals on top of this. We still have one more volley left. We're gonna go towards our tower. We still have a fire trap. I think. Yeah, we do. Make sure they don't come back. Alright, we're gonna let them all group towards our tower. And then I'm gonna get w one good volley as they approach. He will just chase this team militia, he's good for that. They will form a line. Actually, we'll put them together so they will form a line. There we go, he did it. That's our chance. Get a nice volley across this line. We're gonna be patient. When they get close enough, we'll do it. And then we'll charge everyone right after. When their morale is still being hit with the under fire morale debuff. He's unbreakable. That is a problem. Maybe we need to kill him. Ah, this, this looks really like a straight line. We should take it, I think. Can we get it? We can. Wait, only one volley? Where's the other three? Army loss, army loss, okay. Uh, those are Qingzhou units, we don't chase those. We chase the one that are already routed. We got this. 
even if he's unbreakable, the units can break. And then once they break, we can just leave him and then kill him at the very end with the cavalry. Just a strategist at that point. Alright, 30 seconds up for them. Let me make sure they route, and then we just charge. Whew. Another tough fight. We miss micro some of the cavalry when the spear unit is caught up, but aside from that, and aside from the death from dueling, most of this is fine. Ah, dropped his book. We have a ton of loot, so I think replenishment here. He didn't retreat back, so we can catch him. Oh, they have more stacks. They both didn't make it back. They're summoning a new stack here. It just never ends. We need to push them back into the south, keep the fighting there. He's returning to defend his land. A little too late, I think. Oh, we have a new daughter. That should be the final payment. The last three turns, just basically we'll time it out. Maybe we got another gold item, we'll take a look. I think we take the extra underling position. The satisfaction plus the commerce and industry is pretty nice too. This entire area isn't bad. As we expand, the corruption reduction is going to matter quite a bit. I'm going to take the satisfaction first. It's also really quick, three turns. Election of footnotes, experience, some... Okay, no big deal. I think we keep this army around for a bit just to get our public order back to a neutral level. And plus, we have more important fights to deal with. Now we wipe them. We're going to take the 1% just because we need to take the pass through a delegate. I don't think Lady Ben's army can do anything to us, even when we're injured. But we definitely don't want to get sieged by them. So we probably... Oh. Uh, yeah, we don't want to get sieged. We just will stand outside. That's all we need to do. Go turn around and attack them. We took care of it ourselves. Alright, Golgun is probably the only leftover in the north that we have to take care of. Uh, I don't want that. Actually, maybe we do. Minus 4 public order actually helps us. And peasantry income 80 is not bad, given that we lack base income buildings. We might keep it. Alright, one little scrappy army here. We pulled them back. We probably don't need them to do much here. Well, can we actually... Hold on. What if we pop out on this side? Nice. Not the greatest capture rate. At all. But if we can get rid of the army. Now we can actually go after Golgan perhaps next turn. Right, with this army we can swing them out. Actually, let's lose a bit more loot. That way we can move a little farther. Smash into that with this army and then we can take them down. 
and unite the north, and then we can start going west. Speaking of uniting the north, we need to also take this. Our spy is here. What are they doing? Don't want to get caught being sieged. And plus, we need to lose more loot. I, I have no idea what she's doing. She has no items. This faction has no future. I, I don't even want her back. I, I don't. Here, empower trade for us. And then we're going to disown her. She served her purpose. Alright, let's find him a wife. And find the other guy a divorce. Ah. Uh, not what we're looking for. Not at all. We have enough money to keep messing with this. Also not what we're looking for. He can't divorce again on the same turn. But she can. He can't marry twice on the same turn. Uh, I'm gonna fire both of them. Uh, do I want a male bandit? Not really. I think the female, it's easier to... Uh, let's get one. What if we get a sentinel? We don't. Guan Chiu Ying? Huh. So I think the thing is we keep him, we let go everyone else, and then we generate wives with him going forward. Goodbye. 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 See if you can get us a good wife. Now it depends on her skill tree. Wrong direction, but the right character. Uh, I think we just say goodbye. I kind of... Do I want to keep these? I mean, he's burned, so he has to stay. But if you're on the wrong side and you're like that far away, I feel like they should go. Not so lucky this time. Hmm, I actually don't want that. Because we only have a little bit of base commerce, so I don't know if... I mean, it's still 190%. I guess that would be the best thing we can get. There is absolutely no industry, so there's no point to get anything else except for maybe the bandit building. But we already came to the conclusion it's not very good. 190% of a base that will become 200 will be 380 this will become 150 plus whatever percentage we have. Right now it's 100%. So basically it will be 300. Okay, so mathematically speaking, I think the bandit will eventually win out. Assuming we can build it to tier 5 without... We need a large city, so we're probably going to be stuck on tier 4 because we're not doing large city for this building. 125, we need about 300% to outdo... Yeah. Private workshop's better. I 
I think this can come back. Yeah, faction support will reverse, supplies will reverse, and this should should hold steady. Alright, so that's all done. Money pit is well, we spend all our money on marriages and divorces. Whoever's our lawyers making bank off of us. That is not what we want. That is good. Alright, well, let us continue. I think we can have the whole north next turn. Uh, Tao third wave incoming. Or not, they're kind of shifting. We could peace out after the mercenary treaty and just work on a new treaty. No thanks. We're going to you. Wait, how is he inviting us to a coalition when we're at war with one of his coalition members? How would Zhang Meng feel about that? Alright, so he went back to defend, which makes this play more difficult than it has to be. I hope we can delegate a win, because I don't really want to fight it. Thank you. We'll take it. We ended your civil war. They'll be at 50%. Oh, we probably could have looted them. I don't think it matters too much in the grand scheme of things. New army incoming. We kept army around. Who's leading this one? Xing Ji. Lady Du. Liu Bao. Xiong Nu. Okay. Gao Gan, your time is up. Their payment with us is over. Sure. Did they help him? No, only Zhang Meng, so they didn't actually help him. He's only level 3, so we don't really need the siege weapon army to be first, but they probably have better capture rate and everything. Um, starve out first. We'll bring the Poison Volley girls up. Now, the delegate math is probably not going to calculate what Poison Volley will do. We need to come back and take care of this. We could also just cross, but we're not we're not ready for that yet. There's a lot of crossing potential here. we got to deal with them. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. L let us heal, and then we will cross. This, I don't think he needs to come back for this, and he doesn't need to come back for this either. This is so weak. Oh, they're giving us Pyrrhic. We'll take it then. Just save us a bit of time. Not have these episodes run way too long every time. It's a it's a small level three settlement. Ah, we didn't check the item. This is probably from the mercenary contract, and this is from. Oh, we didn't check last turn. Actually, it could have been something else. Do we, do we have a new piece of gold armor? No, these are all old ones. Or at least the name are all old ones. I don't think we got a gold item. Let's just say that. Yeah, we didn't get a gold item. Alrighty, so with that... The North is ours, finally, firmly under our control. The Kingdom of Wei is still impressively large, and they even have land in the South, which is strange, given that they've been so focused on us. There's more waves coming, like we have Xia Yuan's army reformed over here, Liu Pu, Xu Sheng, who we want his sword. We'll probably have to refresh our contract with someone, I don't know if, I, I mean, I think this is with Liu Zhang, right? Uh, right. How do we check who we signed it with? Ah, them. Exactly. We could sign with them again. 
But now with Kingdom of Wu also at war with them, that's another option. That way they'll be friendly to us. They're so far away, we can't really reach them anytime soon. But the next wave of treaty will have us crossing the Yellow River now. We'll have a Western force that will clean up Zhangmeng first. And then we'll probably add more armies to, like more army to help them out. These two will go west as well. And then we'll press down Cao Cao's territory after that. Uh, we'll have Ma Chao reclaim Ma Teng's land, his birthright. And then over here, they have been wrecked by us. I don't think we need to kill them. They're friendly towards us. We can use these armies to cross and take Poyang from Dong and then take away Cao Cao's holdings here. If we do get that mercenary treaty with Sun, uh, Sun Ce this time, Liu Bei is their vassal, so they wouldn't attack us. So we can take these land and just link up with them and basically take off this piece and then they will take off this piece. We'll have a center army. We'll add more to them to take the capital, which will be the most difficult part. And then we'll just clean them off because we don't want them to use schemes against us in the future. And then we'll turn ultimately on Kingdom of Wu and whoever the third kingdom comes. Uh, once we get this, I think we might trigger it depending on our rank. We're very close. 20 point, two more counties essentially is all we need. So once we land over here, I think we'll have it. And then we'll go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and see you all next time. Bye.